going on everybody? Surfing Daddy Pops is here with Sid. Uh, we're making a little road trip today. She's got a track meet here in Orlando, so we decided to leave early and um, I mapped out a few spots, so we're hitting um, a couple places. I'm at Acme Comics right now. Um, after I drop her off, I'll probably hit a few other comic places, but we're gonna hit the Target and a Walmart and um, just kind of check out a different market for the day. Um, other than that, I hope everybody's having a good day. Happy Thursday to you. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. What's up everybody? Uh, thanks for joining in. Um, I hope you enjoyed the quick little comic, uh, comic store places that we went to with my daughter Sid. We had a great time. She had a track meet in Orlando and um, we just stopped a few places. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the photos. Uh, this is kind of like a part two of this particular um, video for the week. And uh, I got a band box in again. So if you guys recall, Bam Geek Box, the band box on Instagram, Facebook. They are very into autographs, props, um, other fun little trinkets and stuff like that. Sometimes it comes with a pop, it's never guaranteed. Um, they will actually tell you when they do the pop. But these boxes, as you can tell, as I just shared with you, they're thin, so it's mostly autographs and uh, movie stuff. The theme last time that I got shared on, on YouTube was the Transformers Moon Knight and some little other odds and ends. Um, this is the April box, which you pay for on the first week of April and you end up getting it about three to four weeks later and then the next one goes um, which is pretty cool this one was a uh, Doctor Strange I only liked one or two themes from the five or six that were actually in this one but I, I held on to it anyways um, you can cancel at any time you can start it up at any time so but I kept the um, momentum going because uh, Ben Kenobi was for May which I'd already signed up for which has already been paid for that would be the next band box um, going back, they had a fire sale of mystery stuff, um, which I'll include in this video right now. And it was a maybe six or seven different pockets of things that they were getting rid of. And um, I went for some autographs. Um, it was seven autograph photos. It was like a 50 or a $60 shipped uh, mystery box. 
no clue. Um, I, I mean, I would assume voice actors, I would assume actors, I would have games, movies, whatever the case might be. It was definitely all over. Um, it was awesome. I just got it like two weeks ago because it wasn't a con continuous subscription, so it was just a random one-off that they did on a certain day back in March, and um, I am blown away by it. Um, I only have six of the photos right now because there was a signed um, or autographed Dragon Ball Z photo of Goku and the animated wife of Chi Chi that was signed. Um, if I have the photo on my phone, I'll go ahead and put it up right now. Bingo. You guys can see that, but I'm going to tell you, I'm not a huge anime fan, not a big gaming fan, but the people that I had gotten, um, it's just really cool and I got a ton from like last year, so I'm going to put these in a little portfolio and just keep them. Um, rowdy anime. Yeah, that would be actors. Ruby, not Rowdy. Right there. It says Salem on it, because I think that's the character's name. I don't know a lot about it, but you can see the quality of these things are just amazing. All comes with the certificates and stuff like that. Um, Leagues of Legends. This photo is so dope. Um, that is the voice actor of that particular character, signed right there. Um, just awesome. This was Dota. I don't know if it's one or two. I didn't play that game. Um, highly, the guy John Patterson, I think, I think it was, Patterson? Something close to that. I had to look it up because I didn't know him, but he does a lot of stuff. Killer photo, killer artwork, autographed right there. Um, Ellen McLean from Portals 2. She does a bunch of stuff too as well, which was pleasantly surprising. Um, there's so many cool actors that do some stuff. I was just, it's just really neat to see. This one's killer. NBA Jam, right there. That's the autograph right there. Authenticity right there. Um, yeah, Tim. It was, it was really cool because I had to look him up and all the stuff that he does for that particular game of all the classic uh, games that we played back when we were younger. Um, that was awesome. And my favorite, which I was blown away with because I'm going to have to frame it and put it up, is uh, Gremlins. And the actual signature, if you guys can see it, believe it or not, I had no clue at the time because it was hard to read. Joe Dante, the director of Gremlins. Um, I'm assuming most of these signatures are probably 20 to 30 bucks a piece. Um, you know, if you go to cons, you can, you're just going to spend 50, 60, 70. Um, when you do private signings, someone can comment on that. I'm sure it's 10 per thing, so everybody can make a little bit of money. But for 60 bucks, I got seven of them total that was the six shared um just a fun fun box to open and um i'm super excited for that so i gave one to my buddy um for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks i can't remember what i even told him um he's like i'll give you 60 i go you're not giving me 60 dollars for that signature so i tried to break it down for him and give him a good deal and then i'm um, keeping the gremlins and everything else we'll just put a little portfolio i still have a ton in this box over here which is pretty fun back to the april Again, this was more towards uh, the Doctor Strange movie coming out. I'll try to put the photo up like I normally do. Um, I'm just drawing a blank because, like I said, I didn't really care. I'm just going to do it. I just wanted Ben Kenobi, which is the next one. Don't even know what it's going to be. I don't know if the autograph's going to be from just one of the voice actors or whatever, but we're going to find out. Pretty simple. I've had one crush, which I've shared in the past, but all these boxes ship very well. And you got the paper right there. Okay, so that's that. So the Doctor Strange thing is definitely going to be the pins, which are really cool. They put out some killer pins. Bingo. Looks to be... It's like a freaking puck. Um, let me get the flyer out, and then we're going to know exactly what it is. So there's two autographs in this one. I think it said that too for April. I just didn't post it yet. Okay. Let's see what here. You can see before I do. Because I forgot. Pin set. Tom Ryan, Doctor Strange. Uh, prop replica. Judge Dredd. That was the other one. And it's actually going to be the badge. Art print. There is a chase variant of the art print. Um, Ross Marquand. Also known for Walking Dead and What If. And the autograph is Infinity War. Dope. Because... It's actually one of three different versions of the Stonekeeper. Oh my god, that's pretty freaking cool. 
Let's see what we got. Well, let's open up the prop, which is pretty cool. Judge Dredd. What a great movie. This thing's heady as hell. Look at that prop, man. What? It's a freaking badge, man. That thing, it's heavy. It's super heavy. That's awesome. That's really awesome. The last one I think I shared on my last video, too, was Indiana Jones. That's kind of like the little prop replicas and stuff like that. Except the one comes in each box. Let's get to the autographs. So I got a print that has a Chase variant, very similar to the Groot one I did last time, which I got the Groot print, Chase, with the um, vial and stuff like that, and then the zombie guy chasing him. All right, so first things first. Oh my god. Yeah, Stonekeeper. What? How sick is that? Oh my god. That is so badass. Huh. Wow. What a cool bit. Man, what a cool one. Next up. Holy crap. Oh, Fantastic Beast. Man, I almost thought it was Doctor Who for a second, but Fantastic Beast. Bingo. Awesome color. Man, it's such cool. So now the question is, which one is the chase? The chase... has an open mouth, I think. No. Oh, I see it. It's got a little critter in the corner. And it has the bird. I have the chase. So if you look right here, right by the scarf, see that right there? There's a bird behind that. And that particular character. The other one is not the chase, would be the scarf minus the bird behind everything. So I do have the chase. You can see right here. On that print, chase variant. Man, it's hard to see, but either way, you can see the one on the inside does not have anything by a scarf, but sweet. Pretty freaking cool. Look at the colors on that. Just awesome prints, man. That's why this box is just so fun. It's like 30, 40 bucks, and you're just getting so much value with this stuff. Look at that. Man, oh man sick that's super cool i have a ton of pins now i don't collect pins but i think i'm going to get a little pegboard and i'll put them all up from doctor who to avengers to doctor strange transformers um just fun stuff cool that is geek box they have anime they have movies they have horror they have everything else that you want to you can just pick up pick some a monthly box and, and just go for it man have fun cancel at any time whatever the case might be um they're just fun Sometimes they get stale a little bit. You just got to kind of go with it and you can cancel. But only other thing, don't forget, guys, follow your local people. This is mine here in Volusia County, Mormon Beach, Cloak and Dagger Comics. It is May 7th. It's free comic book day. Um, spread the word. Great cause. Free comic books for kids. Anybody else that goes to your local comic shops, I'm hoping to stop by myself and um, promote that. Uh, check out your local areas and see and just have fun with them and go, go support the local comic stores. Um, I think that's it. Other than that, it's almost May 4th. It's almost going to be Star Wars Day, which is tomorrow. There's a killer comic thing going on tonight. Slabulous, which I love to follow on um, Whatnot. One of my favorite comic guys. Um, full of knowledge, full of stuff. Um, Pop King Paul is doing something tomorrow. And then I think I just saw um, Seven Bucks a Pop or MrGreer.com doing Star Wars only 750 boxes. I'm jumping all over that. I have a majority of those things except for some high-end grails that I'll probably just go for it, man. They're 15 bucks, limited to, um, well worth it. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, sorry about the long delay in between videos. It's just been a long week at work as well. Um, we're still busy. Easter hit, uh, Mother's Day around the corner. It's our anniversary coming up on Saturday on May 7th as well, 22 years. So thank you all for the support. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll be back at it next week. Surfing Daddy Pops is out. Later.